Hey everyone, it's April and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I picked up a lot more bead decor this past weekend and I didn't get any more yard sale stuff because I had my own, which ended up being very successful. I made over $200, which was so amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you all of the things I got and then take you around my home and show you how I decided to decorate with them. If you are new, I would love for you to take a minute and hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, then thank you. Welcome back. And let's get right on into the video. So the first thing I picked up is this wooden sign that says, Welcome to our hive. And it is just like a thin kind of plywood material but I love the paint job on it and the 3D bees and we actually went to a kind of newer shop that has different vendors uh, that opened up it's about 35 40 minutes from my house and this was actually pretty cheap it was only like ten dollars which I thought was a great deal for the size of it and I don't know I just thought it was cute it has a nice hanger on it so I'll show you what I end up doing with that Next, um, we went to another um, of my favorite like shops that have different vendors, and I got this wooden bee on a stick. Uh, what I think is cool about it is that the wings are actually like an old screen that they cut up, and I just like the shape of the bee. It's definitely different than a lot of the other things that I have. It has a nice, strong wooden stick. And this would be perfect to stick out in your garden, but I'm going to be using it indoors just because with rain and stuff, it ends up ruining it and it looks like crap after a few months of being out there. Next, I just picked up a couple small things here. First is this cute sign that says, A Good Day. And I just love the drawing of the little bees on there. So cute. And the sunflowers, I also like that. And I guess it's supposed to be like another beehive. And that's by Primitives by Kathy. You can get her stuff all over the place. But we definitely can find it here in PA. Probably in like every Primitive or Country store. Um, next, I got two of these coasters. They were $2.50 each. And I forgot to mention that all of this stuff from this particular shop, they were having 30% off all of their bee decor. So I was like, yep, I have to get some. So I just got two of these, just some coasters to stick on my coffee table. And then I got this little pillow. Uh, I just think the detailing is so cute. It's all handmade and embroidered. And the pattern on the back matches what is in the beehive, which I think is so cute. And yeah, good deals on all these things with that 30% off. Next, I picked up some stuffed bees. Um, most of these were all from that same 30% off sale. Uh, these two, which are definitely more on the primitive side, very long and skinny. They don't have a whole lot of detail other than their stripes. And then they have like, I guess it's like the muslim cloth. I don't know what you call that. But um, they made some little wings on the back. But I thought those were cute. They were only like $3.50 with the 30% off. And then this was another style. Definitely kind of weird. Definitely grungy and primitive. But I liked it because I liked the... Um, little antennas on the top and the wings i just thought it was really cute i also picked up these two bees um this little chubby one here is probably my favorite uh it just has two little buttons for eyes they use like some tool for the wings and i don't know it's just something about him i thought he was absolutely adorable and then this one is another primitive style one. It's on a stick. It has button eyes, kind of looks grumpy. And then it has some burlap for wings. And I like these ones on a stick sometimes because you could like stick them in your plants or, you know, in a crock, anything like that. Um, and it looks like they're flying. So definitely love all these little stuffed guys. 
And then him, I gave you a little preview on Instagram. I saw him and I fell in love. And he was not very expensive either. He was only, I believe, $16.99. And then you got the 30% off, which blew my mind because if you buy any of these like handmade primitive type dolls, you know they can be very expensive. Um, some in like the $30, $40 range. So I was really surprised to find him for so cheap. He was the last one and I just loved his outfit and his cute little face. So I definitely wanted to bring him home with me. Next, I found these three wooden bees. Um, these ones uh, just have like a wire on the back and I like the distressing. They're just a thin wood and I really wanted to buy more of these, like maybe five or six so I can make a garland, but they were a little bit more on the pricey side. You got the 30% off, but they were $4.50 originally, which I thought was kind of expensive just for like a little wooden cutout and I didn't want to, you know, spend like $25 on them. So I just picked up three of those. And that's it for the haul. Now I'm going to take you guys around and show you how I decorate it with them. So first thing when you come in my door here on my table, I decided to add the large bee on the stick, kind of wedged him behind the picket fence there. And then the cute little stuffed guy, I just sat him on top of a little riser. And then on the bottom, I just added that wooden beehive sign. And I just was really looking to find some more things for this table because I had it looking summer, but I didn't really have a lot of bee decor over on this side of the room. And then up here on my window, I just stuck the little chubby guy into a basket onto my window just to bring some more yellow up there. And then on my door, I did forget to share this with you guys. I got this white metal pail at a thrift store. Uh, we did stop in one of those. And this was only $2.99. And I brought it home and distressed it up even more. And I just added some greenery and stuck that um, one oddball bee in there. And I just love how it turned out. Super rustic and cute. And then I took the welcome to our hive sign and I just kind of propped it down here by the fireplace. Instead of hanging it, I felt like the side of the fireplace needed something and it's just a cute little sign to add over here for some interest. And then over on my shelf here, I just added a couple more bee things that I shared with you in previous videos, but it definitely changed a little bit since I did my summer home tour. Up here in my bicycle, I added the bee, uh, the smaller one that was on the stick. I just stuck him into the greenery, which I thought looked cute. And then down here on my end table, um, I did get this bee towel a couple weeks ago and I forgot all about sharing it with you guys. So what I did was I just opened it up and kind of used it as a table runner and just stuck some of my new bee decor and the bees that I made on there as well. Of course, I just added my two coasters over here on the coffee table. Uh, I like it because it really brings in that yellow of the bees that I have throughout the greenery as well. So definitely will utilize those when I have a drink. Then the hanging bees, because I had three of them, I decided to just hang one on each of the knobs on my hutch. And then up here, uh, I did make this uh, bee skep. I forgot to share it with you guys. Um, I could go into a little more detail in the next video, but I just made it using a flower pot and some chunky yarn that I got at Hobby Lobby. Super simple to make, and I thought it would bring some more yellow over in this corner of the room by adding that and the bees onto those knobs. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today as I decorate it with all my new bee goodies. 
I'm gonna close the video with little Brody here. I've officially had him for almost a whole year now. I think we're just a few days short. And I'm so glad I decided to adopt him and give him a home. He fits in so well with my family now and I absolutely love him to pieces. He plays with toys now, which he never did before. So I'm just so happy that he's happy and found a good home. Just a reminder again, if you guys are new, definitely consider subscribing. Follow me over on Instagram at house to home underscore XOXO. And I'll see you guys in the next one.